Hello viewers, Namaste. Welcome back to our channel Emotional Fitness. In previous video, we saw one of the important eating disorder that is anorexia nervosa. In this, we saw why the people are refused to eat. Today, we are going to discuss about a few more eating disorders. Eating disorders are mainly because of psychic conditions. Ma'am, tell us uh, some more eating disorders. Today, we will be discussing about some more eating you know, disorders. The first one is bulimia, in which the people overeat. They go on eating without a stop. Actually, they have a lot of craving for food. But afterwards, after overeating, they feel that they may become fat or they may lose their figure. So what they do, they either actually vomit the food or they will take laxatives. Or some people also do a lot of exercises to reduce the calories of intake which they had already taken. In this way, they will try to balance their overeating. This is called as bulimia. Now, there is another one more type in this itself where people overeat their food. But they are not bothered about doing exercises or vomiting. They just go on overeating. They have a craving and so they go on overeating. They don't even, they are not bothered and most of the people of this type of eating are actually uh, obese. So uh, this is called as binge eating. They eat whatever they like actually. 75% of our overeating is due to emotions. We are actually driven by our negative emotions and when we are having a negative emotions, we feel the urge to have uh, something so that it can calm our emotions. Suppose your boss scolds you in the office, then you feel in front of everybody, then you feel that you are humiliated and to control that emotion, you actually feel like eating something and say this, you start eating. This becomes slowly and as a an habit and your overeating results. And so as a result, this follows by weight gain. Because we are having a habit of overeating whenever somebody scolds or if somebody tells something. So slowly to calm that emotion, we usually overeat because we feel that oh, uh, this eating will help us to soothe our emotions. How the uh, flower remedies help in treating uh, eating disorders, madam? So, flower, remed flower remedies can help a lot in treating this type of disorders. For uh, One of the flower remedies is chicory. We usually eat or uh, refuse to eat because of our uh, looks and we have a feeling that all people should love us, they should look at us. So we, uh, so for that chicory will help a lot. Chicory is actually a mis to love yourself without any attachment. Some of the remedies which can help in overeating are crab apple. In this type, in the binge type of eating, they actually eat a lot but afterwards they feel that they have overeaten and so they either vomit or do exercise for that because they are very much cautious about your, uh, their weight for that crab apple will help a lot then next they have actually lost the control of eating for such type of conditions cherry plum will help a lot then we have uh, this thing white chestnut because this they always have a repeated thought of eating white chestnut reduces the overthinking of eating or any purpose. There is also one more remedy that is called as chestnut bud. This actually helps to learn that is instead of doing the same thing again and again, if you take chestnut bud, it will help you to learn that you should not repeat the same mistake again and again. Some children and adults can take even a non-eatable things. Is it as a, also an eating disorder? Yeah, this is also an eating disorder only. Some children or even adults mostly pregnant women, they have a craving for non-eatable items like chalk, paper, detergent, soaps, soaps, paste or anything which is not actually good for health. This is and this can also be a very fatal uh, because they don't get nutrients. So it can also be a fatal condition. Mostly children and pregnant women or, and people who are mentally disabled, they have this type of eating disorders. There is one more type of disorder which usually occurs in children between 3 to 12 months. They eat, they eat the food and after some time they bring it back to the mouth and either chew it again and swallow or they will spit it out. This usually occurs only in children. It is also sometimes if, if it does not go away on its own then you will have to consult a doctor because this can result in uh, 
weight loss because if they go on throwing the food then it can happen means they can lose their weight so it, if the if it doesn't go by itself it usually goes away by itself but if it doesn't go then you have to consult a doctor for that most of the children doesn't like home food slowly they are addicted to junk foods so how can we treat it with uh, flower remedies ma'am see uh, children usually like to eat uh, normal food but sometimes because they are attracted to us the other food like because of the taste smell or color and uh, nowadays the food comes in such a beautiful designs and all they get attracted to it but they don't know that it is junk food and it doesn't have any nutrient value for that batch flower remedies are actually very good it helps a lot some of the batch flower remedies which can help in this conditions are if the ch- child is very rebel rebellion and it if she if he da- resist eating because of by force then holy can help in this situation some children refuse to eat or overeat because they want to be a center of attention they want everybody to attract uh, have attention on them for such type of uh, this thing heather will help a lot then there are some children who are manipulative they manipulate so that uh, to get their things done for that they will refuse to eat or overeat for such conditions chikri will help a lot have you treated anyone with eating disorder ma'am yeah once a child was brought to me she have she she was having tonsils and uh, but she was had a, a liking for spicy food and she used to eat lot of spicy food the doctors warned her that if she doesn't stop this spicy food then we'll have to operate her tonsils so that girl got frightened and uh, she couldn't resist eating spicy food but at the same time she had a lot of craving for spicy food also so she was in a very um, bad condition because she wanted to eat spicy food but she couldn't control that so what and uh, and she had a fear also that if she doesn't stop eating then she will be operated so both of the this for that reason they brought her to me we gave her rock rose and cherry plum after 15 days she became normal and her cravings for food and um, her loss of control also was reduced and even the fear was reduced so she became normal and she started eating the normal food and not much spicy food we have seen all the eating type of disorders in this video if you know like this type of eating anybody suffering with this type of eating disorders please uh, tell them to consult any doctor for suggestions if they don't take it as a serious uh, they might be fatter hope you all like this video please subscribe and click the bell icon for further notification